Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at outliers for re relationship investigations. So what we want to do is we want to identify where the main pattern is and then look for points that are quite a long way away from the main pattern. So what I've done here is I've drawn a blob around the data to identify the pattern. And you can notice then that the outlier is quite a way away from that pattern. So there are three different types of outliers that we can look for. One is the one we just saw when we have um, a pattern with an unusual x value or horizontal value. We can also have the second option here which is a, you can see that I've highlighted the main pattern and the y value is unusually high. Then the third type is where I've got a pattern there and the outlier is both large in terms of its um, X and Y values. So those are our three types that we want to just keep an eye out for. The key is to think about what the pattern is. So here's an example and what I've done here is I've drawn a blob around most of the data and what I want us to notice is there's a point right up the top right hand corner there which is quite a way away from the rest of the pattern. So that point is going to be classified as an outlier. So when we write about that, we want to identify the coordinates of that point. So the point itself is, represents a mother, and that is a mother who is about 45 years old, and the baby's birth weight is around 5 kilograms. And then I'm just going to write a sentence about why it's unusual. It's The mother is older than we expected compared to the rest of the pattern, and the baby is heavier than we expected compared to the rest of the pattern. So there is one example. Let's have a look at a second. So this one's looking at cars and we're looking at the engine size. So this is how many litres the engine is and their price. So first of all I'm going to draw a blob around most of the data. Now notice that I haven't drawn it around this point at the top here because that's quite a way away from the pattern that we see. And so that's the point we want to identify. So we've got an outlier, that's a car that has an engine size just over 3 litres and it's got a price of around about $75,000, $80,000. So it's unusual, not because of the engine size, the engine size is about middle, 3 litres, about an average, but it's much more, than, much more expensive than we would expect for a car with the engine size. So that's how we go about identifying and explaining just... Um, outliers. Thanks for watching.